Okay, so we have added the solution, we've calibrated, and now we're actually ready to take a measurement. So when you're, whenever you're not using the probe, you want to keep it stored in its distilled water solution. Now we're ready to use it, so again I want to unscrew the lid a little bit to allow me to take the probe out from the rubber gasket. And then to take the reading, you just need to submerge the probe so that the bottom is covered. This is the part that takes the reading. And the probe reads a flow of electrons, of ions. So when you're taking the reading, you just want to stir, not in a crazy fashion, but just kind of a gentle stir. And then you want to watch the screen where you're recording the information until it stabilizes. So you can see that our reading has stabilized at 7.3 milligrams per liter, or 730 parts per million. So once I'm confident that that's my reading, I can record that, and then just take the probe back out and put the lid back on, in this case, our sealed containers. If I wanted to take another reading directly following, say of this bottle, I would need to rinse with distilled water in between my steps. So this is distilled water. I'm just going to rinse a couple times. One more time for a good measure. And then I'm ready to take a reading in my new container. And again, when you're moving around with these, you just want to be careful not to bump the end onto anything. So again, I would stir. And it had gone up a little bit, but now it's back stabilized at 7.3. So these containers have the same amount of dissolved oxygen right now. All right. And when I'm all done using it, there are a couple things that we have to do to store them. Earlier we added electrode solution to the tip of the probe, and they need to be stored dry. So we're going to unscrew this lid, or cover, on the electrode, and just empty out the liquid. And then, as always, we're going to rinse with distilled water. And then also it's good to rinse the inside of the probe cover, sorry. Just a couple times, two times is good. And then we store these dry, so the directions in your instruction man manual just say to make sure that's empty so you don't fling water all over everyone, and then just kind of air dry it. And then once it's fairly dry, you're going to put the lid on loosely. It doesn't need to be tightened all the way. And then wrap the cord up and put it back in the box for storage.